Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is us, Triple M Career Guidance. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing us and if you are already a part of us, do hit the bell icon so you do not miss any other update from us. Welcome to this fast-paced world of electronics and communication engineering. Electronics and Communication Engineering or ECE focuses on the principles and applications of electronic devices and systems for communication. ECE professionals work on designing, developing and maintaining advanced communication technologies that connect people and devices around the globe. ECE graduates enjoy a versatile career options across numerous industries. Some popular sectors include telecommunication, consumer electronics, aerospace, defense and internet of things. As an electronics and communication engineer, you will be at the forefront of technological advancements. Your work will contribute to development of 5G networks, satellites, communication, autonomous vehicles and so much more. To become an electronics and communication engineer, you'll need a bachelor's degree in ECE or related field. This degree will provide you with a solid foundation in mathematics and physics and engineering principles, along with the specialized knowledge in communication systems. Are you ready to discover your path in electronics and communication engineering? Take the first step today and unlock endless possibilities with a career in this rapidly evolving field. Electronics and Communication Engineering is a dynamic field that deals with the design development and application of electronic systems, devices, communication technologies. So the recent trends in this field focuses on addressing challenges related to connectivity, data processing and energy efficiency as well as the integration of emerging technologies into various applications. Number one is Internet of Things. Number two, 5G and beyond communication network. Number three, edge computing and fog computing. Number four, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Number five, cyber physical systems, which is called SPC. Number six, energy efficient electronics. Number seven, flexible and stretchable electronics. The last one is quantum computing and communication. So these recent trends in electronics and communication engineering are driving innovation and transforming various industries by enabling seamless connectivity, advanced data processing capabilities and the development of energy efficient and flexible electronic system. Electronics and communication engineering is a field that focuses on the principles, design and the application of electronic systems and communication networks. The subjects taught in ECE program include circuit analysis. So this is the study of electric circuits, components and their behaviors including DC and AC circuits, Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuits and analysis methods such as mesh and nodal analysis. Next one is electronics. So this is the introduction to semiconductor devices such as diodes, transistors and operational amplifiers and their applications in designing analog and digital circuits. Next one is signals and system. So this is the analysis and representation of continuous and discrete time signals, linear time invariant systems, Fourier and Laplace transforms and the Z transform. The next one is digital logic design. So this has the fundamentals of digital system including Boolean algebra, logic gates, combinational and sequential circuits and finite state machines. Next one is microprocessors and microcontrollers. This includes architecture, programming and interfacing of microprocessors and microcontrollers along with peripherals and embedded system design. Next one is communication system. So this is the introduction to analog and digital communication systems, modulation techniques, multiplexing, informing theory, error control coding and communication channels. The next one is wireless communication. So this is the study of wireless communication technologies such as cellular systems, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, satellite communication as well as principles of radio frequency propagation and antennas. Next one is digital signal processing. So it is sampling theorem, discrete time systems, digital filter design and fast Fourier transform algorithms. 
Next one is networking. So this is the basics of data communication, network architecture, protocols and standards including OSI model, TCP, IP, LANs, WANs and wireless networks. Next one is optical communication. So this has the fundamentals of fiber optic communication systems including optical fibers, transmitters, receivers and multiplexing techniques. Next one is control system. So it has the principles of feedback control systems, stability analysis, frequency response and design techniques like root locus, board plots and state space methods. So the last subject is electromagnetic theory. So it is the study of electric and magnetic fields, Maxwell's equations, transmission lines, waveguides and antennas. So these subjects provide a solid foundation in the design, analysis and implementation of electronic systems and communication networks. Graduates with a degree in ECE can work in various industries including telecommunication, consumer electronics, aerospace, automotive and information technologies. So electronics and communication engineering graduates in India have a wide range of career opportunities across various industries. Some of the job roles and companies hiring electronics and communication engineers along with the approximate salary levels are communication engineer. So they are responsible for designing, developing and maintaining communication systems, networks and equipment such as mobile communication system, optical fiber network and satellite communication systems. Companies hiring includes Ericsson, Nokia, Huawei, Cisco etc. The starting salary for a communication engineer in India is around 3 to 6 lakh rupees per annum depending on the qualification and the experience. So the second one is embedded system engineer. So they work on the development of embedded hardwares and softwares for various applications such as automotive, consumer electronics and telecommunication. Top companies hiring include Bosch, Continental, Qualcomm and Texas Instruments. The starting salary for an embedded system engineer in India is around 4 to 6 lakh rupees per annum. The next one is RF engineer. So they are involved in design, development and optimization of radio frequency systems and components of wireless communication, broadcasting and radar application. Some of the top companies hiring radio frequency engineers include Samsung and Ritsu and Keysight Technology. The starting salary for an RF engineer in India is around 3 to 6 lakh rupees per annum. The next one is signal processing engineer. So they design and develop algorithms and techniques for processing and analyzing signals in various communication, control and instrumentation system. Some of the top companies hiring includes MathWorks, Cadence Design System and National Instruments. The starting salary for a signal processing engineer in India is around 4 to 7 lakh rupees per annum. The next one is Network Engineer. So they are responsible for the design, implementation and management of data and voice communication networks ensuring their performance, security and reliability. Some of the top companies hiring include IBM, Infosys and Wipro. The starting salary for a network engineer in India is around 3 to 6 lakh rupees per annum. The next one is telecommunication engineer. So they are involved in design, development and maintenance of telecommunication networks, systems and equipment such as mobile communication systems, optical fiber networks and satellite communication systems. Some of the top companies hiring includes Ericsson, Nokia and Huawei. The starting salary for a telecommunication engineer in India is around 3 to 6 lakh rupees per annum. The next one is VLSI Design Engineer. So they work on design, development and verification of large scale integration circuits and systems for various electronics devices and system. Some of the top companies hiring include Intel, Xilinx and Broadcom. The starting salary for a VLSI design engineer in India is around 4 to 8 lakh rupees per annum depending on the qualification and the experience. The next one is research and development engineer. So they conduct research and development in various areas of electronics and communication engineering such as wireless communication, digital signal processing, sensor networks and many other. Some of the top companies hiring include DRDO, ISRO and Bharat Electronic Limited. 
The starting salary for an R&D engineer in India is around 4 to 7 lakh rupees per annum depending on the qualification and the experience. The next one is technical sales marketing engineer. So they are involved in marketing and sales of electronics and communication products providing technical support to the customers and identifying new business opportunities. Some of the top companies hiring include HCL Technology, Wipro and Crompton Greaves. The starting salary for a technical sales marketing engineer in India is around 3 to 6 lakh rupees per annum plus incentives based on their performance. Do like and share the video with your friends and family. Keep watching Triple M Career Guidance.